that's my bum. Okay, so we just hold on. Sammy move. Sammy move. Sammy move. Come here. I'm gonna take a family photo. Stop. Okay, we're taking a family photo. That didn't take long. <laughs> so I'm at Pearson right now getting ready in the airport bathroom because I literally just like woke up and crawled out of bed and came here. And I like to get to the airport early just because I I fear secondary screening. So I just figured I don't really know where I'm going when I land. Please have your attention. This will serve as a final call. So, so I just figured I would come here and like half put myself together in case I go like straight to the expo. Um, I get to meet Shane today, my old coach. I have never met him in person. I'm uh, excited about Thank you. I know at some point I have to train today, like cardio and lift. I get two off days a week, but like I just want to get out of the way so I can just like do other stuff this weekend. So we're here in Vegas and I'm at Einstein Bagels. Um, I'm getting resourceful with my carbs. I'm theoretically in off season, so I'm not like really cheating on my diet. I'm just switching out my carbs with this, and I'm going to do a bagel. And I just got egg white bites from Starbucks. And I got my coffee. But I'm going to save this for later because I'm going to go do cardio now at the hotel gym, which I'll show you guys. At it. Sorry, I haven't really vlogged much. I was at the expo yesterday. I'll try and bring you guys to the expo today. Um, I'm going to try and meet up with Shane. Just, uh, you guys are going to do it. Um, I'm 
like sitting here asking if, if I come to Brazil if I'll be able to find a husband. Oh, oh depends. <laughs> depends. There is a lot of, I think like the people that like more, more muscle girls is the... You call me a muscle girl? Yeah, you're a muscle Shit, girl. I'm not used to this. Like, after bikinis... I really, I I ask, when he met me, I was like a... 125 pounds, like... No, no, you have like crazy arms. I wish I had these arms. See, that's what guys say to me. Yeah, that's the second time I've heard that. Oh. But because, like, it's a compliment. But when I die down, they, like, get tighter. No, I saw the pictures, like, the belly, muscle belly is, like, crazy. The search is so long. Because she's black, man. She's got black genetics. Yeah, the black magic. Yeah. I lost just going to fuck. But, like, in Brazil, they consider wellness. Yeah. yeah, like legs are crazy on those girls. Yeah, crazy. 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 Really, 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 really crazy. Yeah. I don't like, I think it's unprofessional, you know? Really? It's like really like big legs with no torso. I like a little bit of clothes. Yeah, I feel like it's not real wellness because it's not balance. I feel like balance is more healthy. It's like wellness. You know? Yeah. Mm, it doesn't make sense to me. Whatever. It's fine. That vlog life, because I haven't done it all weekend. Did you find your thing, Hassan? Bracelet? Bracelet. Your bracelet? No, his bracelet. He lost his bracelet number. Oh, it's just like it's small way. What is. You just need my arms to fill it out, I guess. Yeah. Well, my arms are really good. Can you check in? Let's show me that one. Look at this At least I haven't come to clean the room. Ah, no, it's the other deal. Fuck. Ha, you look cute. You're looking for the thing. Because I know the old days. No, no, you don't need it. It's just showing your. I'm not even competing. Do you see the size of me? I'm the size of a truck. But if I was, I would have won. <laughs> not. I'm not even this is the second time I've gotten people being like, good luck, or like, oh, you're like showing me something and be like, oh, Yeah, yeah, I guess you Thor, Natalie, Eve, Marie, Jonathan, Coyle, and Thor's wife, Kelly, whatever. I don't know who these two are. I thought he'd be bigger, like more muscle. Just gotta be strong.
Attack me for a photo.
I'm like the world's worst vlogger. just got back from watching the Olympia and holy shit I'm inspired like the finals was crazy um, just so cool to see people in their element and new winners for like the Arnold's I mean the Olympia that like, haven't won before and such I'm just getting ready to go out now with some old friends the world is so fucking small, like, it's just crazy. But my friend that I'm here to see walks up to me at the expo, because <laughs> we were trying to find each other, and here's somebody else that I actually already knew. What even? So this dress is really old. If you've followed me for a while, you've probably seen me wear it a thousand times. It always fits me better because it's a bandage dress when I'm bigger, which I am right now. Yes? No? Now I'm having second thoughts on a dress. Room switch up. Not bad, not bad. Well, <clears throat> lost my voice. That's a wrap on my Vegas trip. And I am truly blessed to have the people that I have in my life and to call friends and the person who made this trip possible for me. Um, my friend who watched my dogs, just the people that I came across that knew me, met me, um, appreciated me, um, showed me around, I got reacquainted with again. There was a long time, like when I was with my ex, that I just, um, I guess I lost myself in trying to conform to what he wanted me to be or what he wanted me to do or what he thought was appropriate behavior for me. Um, his insecurities, I tried to cater to, and I lost myself. And this trip, even leading into the trip, kind of reminded me, like, who the fuck I am. And, like, why I do the things I do. And why I care. And why... Why... <sighs> I don't know, I just feel like it's crazy how I let myself get caught up in that and I lost who I was and the things that make me me and my voice is going, but and my friends and just being outgoing, um, independent, not afraid to do things on my own. Like I fucking came to Vegas by myself, guys. I didn't travel with anybody. I had like 
no plans. Go to the expo. That's that. Met, met up with people. Um, just got recognized by some people, which is cool. And uh, just remembered who, who I was and, and the fun that I have even doing things by myself. Like, I used to come to Vegas all the time by myself. Like, I go to LA, meet up with friends, and those are the things that I miss. I'm kind of like, I have to get back to my dogs and my life and pure and like, you know, my HD family. But I, I wanna do more trips alone. And that's not because like I'm an introvert or anything like that. It's literally because I love it. I like experiencing things and even if I have to do it by myself, like I still have fucking fun and I'm not scared to be by myself. And I'm not scared to dive head first into being a successful pro, like the Olympia. Next time I come here, I don't want to watch. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to look like this. I don't want, I don't want to be an attendee. I want to compete at the Olympia. I don't want to be competitive at the Olympia. I don't want to just be, just be someone who qualified or went through on points. Like, I want to make an impact in the sport. Like, I want to inspire people, but I also want, I want people to remember me as a freaking amazing figure athlete, amazing figure bro. So I don't know why I'm so emotional or like crying, but I think this trip I really needed it. So to the person out there that pushed me to take the trip and helped me and realizing that you know, I spent three years suppressing who I really was and you helped me recognize myself again and things that make me me. And uh, I'm sad to leave Vegas, but I'm so happy that I fucking came and I got to have fun. I stayed on plan for the most part. I got a cheat meal. Like, I'm so grateful to be living the life that I am. I may not be rich. I may not, I may not have a significant other or a family that's really close to me, but I have you guys who watch and care and uh, support me and are motivated by me and yeah, I want to come back and I want, I want to be on the stage. I don't want to watch. <laughs> These are good tears. Trust me. I don't know. I'm just being emotional. <laughs> but battery's dying. I got to catch a cab to the airport. And back to reality. <laughs> Goodbye, Vegas. <laughs> You've always been freaking good to me. There are a few people that I didn't get to see that I wanted to see, but it's okay. And, uh. My time will come. My time will come. I know it will. Wow.